Welcome back everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video on a new type of uh, 3D printed push button I made. Um, basically it's a push button that uses these 7mm by 7mm momentary on uh, push buttons that I purchased a bunch of for my dimmer switches. So I, because of some reliability issues I had with the, uh, the normal tack switches that I've been using for my push buttons, I decided to go with these and make a new kind of layout. Uh, basically, they simply go in here like this. Uh, actually, we'll do the open that way. Because they're each side of the switch is separate from the other side. Basically, in this particular case, I'm going to do a, a resistor array, and then the other side will just be a trigger for uh, interrupt to read it. But uh, the way this works is they just clip in place. It's always harder when you're filming to do these things. Put you, so we got it in place here. Just put the clip on here. It's easiest to get one side in first and then put the other side in and then it holds. Make sure she's straight. And in this case, the buttons basically are these little panels, kind of miniature version of my dimmer switch. They have a little tab on the end so that would go in like this first. You just pop it in place and you have your switch. Uh, I forget exactly how I was going to arrange this. Um, I'll just. This is actually going to be for a custom TV remote. So we got on off. We got uh, basically bring up the weather, switch to the computer input, that kind of thing. So also single one. I did try printing these a few different ways. Face down, they kind of blur a little bit when you're doing the dual extruder kind of thing. I did the other way uh, where this was face up then you need supports and it takes forever to print but you can actually get a little more resolution if you have it uh, angled because you can do, the layers are thinner than the width. I thought I'd show uh, just a quick video or a glimpse of the project I made with the, the push button since it took me so long to get around to making the video that I actually finished what I was doing with them. Um, basically this is a remote that sits on our coffee table for when we lose our regular TV remote, allowing us to do all the basic functions you actually need, or we do anyway. Inside, there we go. basically we have a, a res resistor array for the uh, inside portion of the switches uh, that determines what's being pushed. The outside is just uh, short so chip, to, chip enable. And then it latches high on this ESP module. See, the ESP is on for two seconds and then shuts back down. Uh, I can flip a switch down there, and then it'll stay on, and it can be remote controlled over Wi Fi and reprogrammed for the different functions. Uh, battery, pretty straightforward. I just thought I'd give a quick glimpse of the uh, finished project. Sits on there, wooden case. I did do a project. There we go. Anyway, that's a quick video on my new push button 3D printed switches. I have links below for Thingiverse and uh, my mini factory. Either one of those has a option where you could uh, tip me if you want to help encourage me to share more of my 3D printed plans for free. If not, well, enjoy. Thank you.